Okay. 11.3 talks about creating a replenishment part for the supply chain system. Well, here we're going to use a so-called, since we set up a time out, the timer element called time reviewer, and the default is every five days. So I need to come back to check my inventory status every five days, see if it's lower than the order reordering point, and then see if we can uh, place a re uh, rewarder. So what we need to do is actually create a, a process, actually, uh, based on, so I'm going to create a regular process. And this process we call the uh, order replacement. And I'm going to call this uh, name called time uh, review. Okay. Sorry. Review. Um, this is. Sorry. I'm going to call this trigger name process review. It's based on the timer review event, actually. And so each time the event trigger, I'm going to uh, make sure that it happens. So what we need to do for this part is. Uh, first decide if the inventory is lower than it's reordering. So that part is easy. I'm just going to add a decide block. We'll call it check inventory level. Okay, check inventory level is uh, condition based. If this is a uh, so-called state inventory level is less than reordering point. Then I'm going to start replacing and uh, make an order. And after, if I check if the current inventory level um, is lower, so I'm going to place order to supplier. Place the order to supplier by using a create uh, block. Uh, the create block, I'm going to create a new object, and the object entity type is replenishment. So we're basically using this to create an entity automatically, and number of uh, uh, objects right here. So I'm going to create one entity, and that's replenishment, and then I'm going to <coughs> set how much I'm going to order from my supplier. And this can be done by using a simple assign block. And I'm going to assign, of course, I'm going to use the order amount again. Uh, but what is the value I supposed to order? So the order I'm supposed to order is supposed to be the order up to level <coughs> quantity. Okay minus uh, the current inventory on hand, okay? Um, minus the current on order. And that's what I'm trying to order overall. So uh, whatever inventory level I want to have, subtract the current on hand, subtract our uh, amount I already have on order. However, this number can be uh, below zero sometime. So I'm going to using a maxima function, I'm going to order either zero or this level. Uh, this level. So this is the order amount I'm going to place. And you can add another assignment down here, but I'm going to use another assignment and to illustrate the whole process. And also, I need to update the current system on, on order. Since I already placed the order, and the system on order will be uh, actually uh, stay on order plus whatever I just decided to order. And that's the amount 
of order I want. And also I want to tr then sending all the order into suppliers, uh, workstation suppliers, uh, input node. So I'm going to using a transfer node right here uh, from free space into the input node of the oh, sorry input nodes of uh, supplier. Okay, so this is all there's to it for this section. Each time, um, every five days or so, whatever uh, review period is. Uh, timer trigger this event determining if the current inventory level is lower than the reorder in point then uh, if it is I'm going to create a dump uh, replenishment em uh, entity and the create ent entity actually going to update the uh, order, order amount for the entity okay and then update on order quantity and the system and transfer this into the supplier and, okay and this is uh, this section. And also, after the inventory finished with the workstation uh, uh, distribution center, I need to update um, the workstation. Uh, uh, actually, update the inventory level again. So I'm going to add another add-on service. This is uh, basically finish uh, finish the good operation. So this is the part I'm going to add. Uh, a process. I'm just going to adding a sign block right here trying to check the inventory. So first I'm going to do is I'm going to update this inventory on hand with whatever uh, order amount this entity carries okay and so that's the first things I want to update inventory update inventory also I want to update the on order as well because order has arrived so I need to subtract that quantity from the on order portion. So here I have on order. So I need to sub, uh, subtract that amount from the on order um, portion. So this is uh, uh, the next step I need to do. Um, I think we pretty much finished this section. Let me give a quick run to see what happened. Okay, inventory level is low, but hasn't got updated yet uh, because it's having inventory. Okay, got replaced. So we need to see what kind of uh, differences between uh, the time synchronization between on orders and actually inventory level. Let me add another one over here. And basically, what I just uh, here, I just have one row. I'm going to add a couple of rows here to show you. And this one, we're going to call this uh, statistic on order. Okay, so this is what we call it on order amount. And also, I'm going to add one more just in case. I'm going to call it uh, the total inventory amount. I'm going to call total, uh, 
total and retorted. All right. And just to show you a little bit, I'm going to choose a little bit different one. Okay. Distinguish color and let you see how that goes. And you will see the inventory level keeps going down. Currently, there's no order needs to be placed. And so it, and there's no order outstanding. And after it reaches lower than 300, uh, reach the review time period. Okay, the order, uh, outstanding order, start on order, starts to shoot up. And the total inventory, actually, this is green line. Um, okay, so this represents the inventory arrives and inventory level replenish and keep going on like this. Okay, this concludes this section.